Hey everyone, we wanted to share something with you this week. This has been coming in uh, more and more frequently to us and I got a great reminder about it when I was reading a, um, something that a client of ours sent in, a kind of long-term client, about how to handle problems. And here's a strategy we accidentally stumbled upon. I'm not sure if we read it somewhere, I'm not sure how we came across this, but when we have problems in our life, one of the things that Nick and I talk about is that a way to overcome those problems is not to actually solve those immediate problems. Um, if something's bothering us, um, instead of attacking those problems, if we can't immediately find the solution, we always tell ourselves, we need bigger problems. The reason that these problems are freaking us out is because we don't have bigger and better problems. So let's go get bigger, better problems, and then we have these bigger, better problems, with these other problems don't seem like such a big deal. And every time that we do that, somehow the first set of problems kind of magically take care of themselves. I want to give you a quick a example. Um, a few years ago, it was a lot of years ago now, when we were first helping investors with properties, I had three investors that we were working with all at the same time, all kind of struggling to find tenants for their properties. That was totally freaking me out. You know, I, I knew that they should be doing these things. They're, you know, they were kind of doing them, but not really. It was taking them a little bit longer to get tenants than I thought they, they you know, it, it should. They were getting a little frustrated. I was getting kind of really frustrated with the whole situation. And I remember every day, probably for a few days, thinking, this is ridiculous that I'm freaking out about the, these problems. These problems are just too small. I need to be getting bigger problems. And I forget what the bigger problems were. I think we went on to kind of expand what we were doing and spend some money that really freaked us out and some marketing and stuff like that, which was a big kind of concern for us. But as soon as we moved on to get bigger problems, those problems just magically all took, took care of themselves. I didn't ignore them. I still handled them. But magically, I was able to put some better effort to them. I'm not sure all the dynamics between how, uh, how all that works, but that's something we regularly remind ourselves in our life and hopefully that's something that you know you don't think is too crazy and you might want to experiment with yourself so until next time your life your terms